wanted to talk just a second before the sprint cars get going about scoring pylons. There was a debate going a few months ago as some high profile tracks have announced they're getting rid of scoring pylons. And I, for one, could not be more against it. We just got scoring pylons anywhere from 20 to 10, somewhere that year, years ago. And for somebody like me, you know, who works in racing and always needs to know what's going on, I think they're great. Um, I'm wondering how they're going, because like a lot of these tracks, we're going to replace, uh, you know, with big screens, and I'm sure a lot of them want to do apps. But it's kind of like, you know, I missed the time deadline here at the track once because I kept looking at my phone. Now I wear a watch. It's easy for me to just look down, and I think the scoring pylons kind of fall into that same category. Instead of having to look at an app, and I'm sure a lot of these bigger, bigger, bigger tracks, you know, not anything like that I would cover, um, you know, would like you to have an app. They could fill the app with a lot of ads. And of course, you could get a lot more information that way. A good app should allow you to click on a driver, see a bio, and stuff like that. But to me, there's no replacing a scoring pylon. Uh, like look at Indy, for example. You can see that pylon all the way around the racetrack, and you can look at it at any time that you want. So I'm all for, you know, the big screens and all the other stuff that happens as far as getting fans at the track as much information as you can get. But I could never see a situation where a scoring pylon is no longer a part of that. Um, so part of me wonders if, if it's just, you know, maybe they're thinking that it's kind of gone the way of the dodo bird or the, uh, you know, not crash proof word processor, you know, a typewriter, but give me a, a scoring pylon at a racetrack any day. That's just my two thoughts. Offer me your comments. Leave one right now. And again, make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications.